And away from that, let's tell you that more Nigerians have continued to pay a condolence visit to the residence of the former chief of staff, uh, former chief of defense staff headquarters, retired Lieutenant General Oladik Bodia, who died yesterday. Now, as the chief of the general staff, he was second in command and the de facto vice president of Nigeria under the late Sonia Abacha. Senior correspondent Ivy Kanu tells us more. In an official statement during his 77th birthday celebration, captioned a clarion call for peace in a nation in dire need of unity, late Lieutenant General wrote, and I quote, as mortals, we must celebrate every day as it comes. And that celebration for him came to an end on 26th of March, 2023. His residence at Adekunle Fajoyu GRA Keja Lagos is playing host to family members, former colleagues in the army, business associates, and other sympathizers. Though he died at an advanced age, the mood here is that of sorrow as most visitors came with their heads bowed. At his home, a condolence register has been opened. His widow is surrounded by loved ones. Friends and associates described the second in command to the late military head of state, Sani Abacha, as a man who made significant impact. Nadia stood for honesty and uh, is a firm individual. He doesn't believe in gossips. When he was vice president, he was always standing with the people. Even during the time of June 12th, uh, uh, problems, uh, he stood with us. I was a disciplined man. Uh, he had every opportunity to steal money, but he did not. Uh, when he was governor of Ogun State, if you steal money, he would throw you in the guardroom. In 1993, he, he, has, he had every opportunity to become the head of state of this country. Every, every, every camera was looking towards him to become the president of this nation, but he stepped down for General Abacha. When he was appointed military governor of Ogun State, he imbibed some discipline into that state, during which he banned night parties in Ogun State. His love for education, I am not sure he was able to um, consolidate. He, as his um, special advisor on media, uh, I know that um, he, has, he had an insatiable love for education. He's always talking about the, the children of the poor. You know, he had a foundation, Oladipo Odea Foundation, but um, that is one part of him that I know he was not able to, you know, fulfill. His family speaks on what the man, Lieutenant General Donaldson Oladipo Odea, meant to them. He died at the hospital. They took him there around 11.32 yesterday night. I think he gave up around 1, 1, around 1, 1 a.m. We've lost a man who actually made every member of the family, myself inclusive. For now, no arrangement for now. Born on Monday, 3rd April 1944, in Odubolu, Ogun State, the former military governor of Ogun State attended Yaba Methodist School, Lagos, from 1950 to 1956, and proceeded to Dobolu Grammar School from 1957 to 1962. He was commissioned a second lieutenant in March 1967. He became general officer commanding 82 Division Nigerian Army in 1985. Ivy Kano. CVC News, Lagos.